do better than that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Milner. Good morning, everyone. That's better. This is your this is your last morning, and it's something to really celebrate. Okay, fantastic. Right. So this is all a little bit strange. Welcome everybody here. Obviously, welcome people at home that managed to join us <laughs> by Google Meet. This is the first and hopefully the last Year Six interactive final assembly. So it's a little bit strange, a little bit different, but it is the best that we can do at the moment, and it's better than the Year Six had last year. And I just want to say a few things about you guys first, and then I'm going to hand over to your teachers. We've got some awards and the usual things that we do as part of these assemblies. Uh, this is a really special assembly, uh, a really special assembly because it's bringing together everything about you and your journey through St Giles. Some of you, and I'll ask you in a minute, some of you will have been at this school since foundation, since you were four years old. Some of you will have gone to St Giles Nursery School as well, and I'll ask you about that in a second. But this is a special assembly, it's a time to reflect on everything that you've done and reflect on how much you have grown up and to look forward to the next step and to secondary school. That's what it's all about. And it is my favourite assembly. Every week I say the Star of the Week assembly is my favourite assembly, and it is, but this tops them all because this is super special. It's a brilliant chance to talk about all of you. I'm thinking about all of you. Um, I'm going to share an example I shared with the Year 5s yesterday. So apologies to the four children from Year 6 that were there and the staff that were there as well. But there's one word that I think about, well there's a few words actually, but hard working. Hard working and dedicated we can use to describe this group of children, but also teamwork. Okay, we've had, we've had children in the past, um, not children, year groups, that have been quite individual. Okay? And, there's, and there's strengths in that as well, where, the, where they're, they're very individualistic. But you are a brilliant team. You've been great as classes, you've been great as a year group. And I'm going to share the example I gave yesterday. There was an incident last week where it didn't go brilliantly for a, group of, a small group of children at lunchtime. It was nothing major, but something happened at lunchtime, it wasn't great. And the way that you all sorted it out with the help of Mrs. Smiley, I was really, really impressed. You talked it through in a really grown up way. Everybody was listening while the other people were talking. And you ended up coming up with a sense, some sensible, really realistic consequences. And then we moved on. And I, I just wanted to share that with you. And I was so impressed with how grown up. Everybody makes mistakes. It used to be one of the mottos that, you know, that St. Giles is a safe place to make mistakes. And it is. So we all make mistakes, but it's what happens after we've done that. And I was really, really impressed with that. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now, when I first arrived at St Giles, you guys were all in year one. Okay, so if you remember, you were in the classrooms right down at the other end of the school, those of you that are here. Some of you were in Miss Foreman's class, some of you were in Miss Means class. And I can remember going into those classes, and if I say, I don't think most of you would be sat here listening today, uh, looking back then. It was quite, you were quite lively, you were quite lively, it was quite noisy, uh, and I think actually, we could take that forward, you've retained, you, obviously you can sit still and you can listen, but you're quite noisy learners. But there's always learning going on. When I go into your classrooms, there's a buzz. So noisy learning, but always learning, and always wanting to learn. And I think that's something you need to take forward with you as well next year. Take that with you. Take that, not necessarily the noisy learning, but that desire to find out more, that desire to, to learn more and to improve and to get better because you have done that this year so much. And this year, like no other year really, you've missed um, a large part of your year five, you've missed a chunk of year six, and yet you have all achieved this year. If we had had proper SATs this year, and we did do SATs, we called them secondary ready tests, but they were the SATs tests from 2019. You did them under test conditions, and you have performed better than any other cohort we've had through here. Now that is a testament to you, and that's a testament to the people sat around this room as well. From September, you have come back with an amazing attitude. 
Okay? There were gaps from the work that you had missed. Not your fault, not the teacher's fault, it's just the way things were with, with COVID and having to, having to stay at home. So you had it, you, it, the odds were stacked against you, and you have all done so well this year. You've done so well. And I don't think you should be frightened of anything in the future. Because of everything that you've coped with this year and last year, everything else would be an absolute brilliant. It'd be, there, are, there are quite a few of you, actually, from large families that are leaving. And I, and I am going to miss some people out, and I do apologise about that. But I was just thinking about that. We've got uh, the last of the Pease children leaving. We've got Tacona. Uh, and we've also got um, Pixie. And I know I've missed some people out. And I know I do apologise about that because I know that there are, some of you are the youngest in your families. I know there's more of you that are the youngest in your families. But I just think it's, it's fantastic that we've had these families coming through the school. Because that's what I always say to you, isn't it? That some Yard is a big family. We are a big family, one big family. Families look after one another, and you guys certainly have looked after one another. I think that because you've missed so much, so much school, and because you've been so resilient, actually the responsibility of year six is just—it's just been an absolute breeze. I don't think I don't think um, it was an issue for you guys stepping up into year six and being year six children. Like I've said, there have been times when there have been times when we made mistakes, we all make mistakes, but it's what you do after that which is really, really, really important. And I look now at the children in front of me and the children that I saw in year one, which is a large amount of them, probably had some of you here in year one. Fantastic. Yeah. And how many of you have had a few here in foundation as well? Is how much you have grown up and how much you down, obviously that's down to you and that's down to your, your parents whoever's at home but it's also down to these people here and how they have nurtured you and not just the people in this room but the other teachers that have worked with you over the years as well so I, I stand here feeling really really proud to be your principal and teacher whatever you want whatever it is it's the same thing okay I stand here feeling really proud of being your principal and knowing that you are going on really good citizens and ready for secondary school. And that means we've done our job properly, because you guys are all ready. You're all ready to leave, you're all ready to move on, and you might be a little bit sad at the end of the day, hopefully you won't be, and hopefully you won't be. You might be a little bit sad, but come September, and then after you've had time to, to put some on the table, you are ready to be right. say some more a little bit more at the end but you deserve a fantastic holiday because of how hard you have worked. One example, the last example I'm going to give is during lockdown. Now during lockdown, up at Key Stage 2, the uh, engagement in terms of the number of children that were taking part in it was brilliant. Yeah, it was in year five and in year six, but year six was phenomenal. Yeah. You were either in school or the vast majority, the vast majority of the time, were doing their remote, you were doing your remote learning. And it wasn't easy, was it? And I think that's a really good example of your desire to get better and to improve, is the fact that there was a massive barrier in terms of you weren't allowed in school, and yet you carried on learning, you carried on wanting to find out. So a massive, massive well done from me. And I know that other people have got lots of things that they want to say as well. So we're going to move on to Mrs. Thomas and Mr. Frank.